All right, Allie, this is not the first time that a dog has been our Minnesotan to meet. But it is the first time that one of the dogs we've focused on is, is a life-saving dog. Yes, just like us, our pets sometimes end up needing to see a doctor and some emergency vi visits, they may even need blood. But the blood supply at a local vet hospital isn't nearly as large as what you see in hospitals for humans. And as you're about to see, that's why Porter is this morning's Minnesotan to meet. At first glance, Porter is your typical black lab. Very playful. The staff here at the University of Minnesota Vet Hospital has certainly taken a liking to him. He came in as a stray, so we estimated him at at least a year and a half. He's not just a frequent visitor because his owner works here, but he's a donor, a canine blood donor. Our blood product is used for uh, chronic disease, for trauma patients, uh, for anemias. That's exactly what Porter helps out with. He's one of 40 dogs that regularly donates blood at this hospital. Sometimes they're client-owned dogs, sometimes they're staff-owned dogs, um, so they're volunteered. A lot of them are volunteers. Nine to 15 units of canine blood are kept in a small fridge ready to go for the next pup who needs it. You could say he's getting used to it. Good boy, stay here, honey. Yes, there you are. Porter doesn't seem to mind the procedure. It takes about 10 to 15 minutes. All right. First, through the skin. Go oh, who is the best yeah. dog ever? And then another 45 to replenish fluids. It's a good boy. There you are. Very good. Beth Olmstead says there are different types of canine blood. For type specific, uh, we generally here in the hospital right now are typing for our 1.1 positive or negative dog antigen, which is our most reactive antigen in the dogs. Aww, here's my boy. A simple procedure which can save the life of another four-legged friend. It's extremely imperative because there are some patients that uh, will not survive without it. Now, on average, Porter donates once every eight weeks. He joined the blood donation program a little over three years ago and has donated 20 times. I've never even been able to donate my blood mm -hmm. because my iron levels aren't high enough. So it's crazy to think that this dog has right, donated that right. much. Does the dog get a cookie at the end, just like us <laughs> when we donate? No, well, he just gets a lot of love. Just a little love. <laughs> uh, can any dog donate blood? Well, there are some criteria that you need to look at if you are considering maybe uh, possibly uh, doing blood donations for your dogs. They need to be a friendly and happy, a good spirited dog. The other criteria is they need to weigh over 50 pounds without uh, being overweight. Sure. And so they need to be up on all their current vaccinations okay. and any, uh, they can't be receiving any medications for fleas or ticks or anything like that. And then the age range is from one to six years old oh, when they enter when the they program. Start. Yes. Okay. Dog's too old. So uh, that's just some of the criteria. So, there are a lot more. And sure. you saw Porter wasn't playing with any other dogs. That's because he's not allowed to. He uh, can't go to dog parks just uh, in case he were to get sick from a yeah. different dog. He's too valuable. Yes. It is a selfless life that this dog is living. True. He's True. giving his blood. But he he's goes giving on, up on going to dog parks. He goes on runs with his owner all the time. This dog, I feel like this dog is a, a better contributor to humanity than I am. <laughs> it's not close. No, it isn't. It's not close. Well, we can't forget about the cats, of course. Is this something that cats Cats can do as well. Yes, it is. Uh, so, Kim and Matt, I know you were wondering. Maybe your cats you can would like to cats. donate. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> what do you need? So it's it's pretty typical. The uh, same types of scenarios for okay. your dogs and your cats. So they have to be friendly nope. and good around people. Uh -uh. What your cat doesn't qualify? No, that's no. no we're already cat. out. We're already out. <laughs> there are no cats that qualify. I was actually that thinking that. And then uh, the cat has to weigh more than 10 pounds uh, and must be up to date with all of its vaccinations as well. And the age ranges for cats are two to six years old oh, that's not that old. when entering the program. There are a few more criteria to look at, but those are just some mm. of them. So my cats are too old, too mean, and too fat to apply. The cats are mean, I'm sorry. Mean and fat. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Still lovable. Push the plate away. To the owner? Well, one of them is. Yeah, okay. Yeah.